Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal and uh, a lot of the players' summer holidays are coming to an end. Uh, it was great to see some of them back in training yesterday, um, particularly good to see Thomas Partey back. Um, we really missed him towards the end of last season and you know, if he can get a full pre-season in, get himself fit, this could be a very important player for Arsenal going into the new season. So good to see him back. There's a load of youngsters out there as well. There were players like Hector Bellerin out there, um, who, of course, more than likely to move on um, this summer, but still back in pre-season training. And, you know, a lot of the players... Uh, you know, after the excesses of their holidays, um, they hate the preseason training. Although the professional players of nowadays, they, you know, even on holiday, they keep themselves in good condition. We saw the videos of uh, Eddie and Ketia uh, on his holiday. Literally, he was, he was running every day over there. So, um, but anyway, who is going to be joining them at the training ground? Who else is going to be coming in at London Coney? Could it be Lissandro Martinez? Um, said to be Arsenal's priority now that uh, they're not so much in for Rafinha. And um, there's been lots of rumours yesterday that Arsenal have made a third bid for Lissandro Martinez, said to be up around the £40 million mark. A lot of money, a lot of money for Lissandro uh, Martinez. Ajax, of course, driving a hard bargain on any player that's leaving, particularly this guy was their player of the season last year. Um, and also Arsenal, they've got to get a move on if they're going to get this one done. We heard the rumours yesterday that Manchester United are also interested in signing Lissandro Martinez. So if it is Arsenal's priority, they've got to move on this one very quickly. But again, are they willing to pay the sort of money that Ajax are looking for? Ajax still said to be holding out for around about £45 million. And we had a debate on... Um, the evening show last night as to where um, he will play because, you know, predominantly, well, not even predominantly, like literally all season, he played as a centre-back for Ajax. That's the same position, of course, that, um, you know, we, we've got Gabriel playing. £45 million for a player that's going to sit on the bench. Although I'm up for it because it's all about improving the squad for me and squad depth. We know he can play in other positions as well. Are we bringing him in to play as a predominantly as a left back? It's going to be interesting to see. But Lissandro Martinez, is there going to be some positive movement on this one? All of a sudden, we slowed down a bit. Other teams are getting business done. You know, Spurs today getting the deal for Richarlison done. Um Arsenal fans all of a sudden starting to get a little bit jittery, you know what I mean? Saying, you know, what's going on now? From, you know, R Rafinha thing, Lissandra Martinez now, you know what I mean? United could be in. Well, Arsenal, you know, they started to say, are we returning back to the old Arsenal of previous transfer windows? There's still a long way to go. So, um, but remember a few weeks ago, um, Edu was talking very confidently. I wonder how confident he still is now in getting some of his targets in. Gleason Bremer, I've spoken about this guy before, so I've told you that um, I actually know one of his representatives. And uh, when we was over in Cyprus last year, he was really, really talking up Gleason Bremer and saying to me, Robbie, this guy is made for the Premier League. Now, we're being told that uh, Torino Sporting Director is actually in London today. Um, with several meetings scheduled, um, one at Tottenham, one at Chelsea, and also one at Arsenal to speak to them about Gleeson Bremer um, and to find out if they're interested in buying him. They're, they're shopping him around. Um, you see there the reported fees around about £31.5 million. Torino reportedly, though, seeking about... Sorry, they're £31.5 million, yeah. Torino seeking about £40 million, um, according to reports which again is a lot of money. He had a breakthrough season last year. He was really, really good um, over there in um, Serie A. But 40 million is a lot of money. But then we're looking at the same sort of money for Lissandro Martinez. Um, again, it would be a guy that would come and he wouldn't start. You know, we've, we've got to remember that we spent a lot of money um, on Ben White last year. And William Saliba is coming back as well. So where would a player like Bremer fit? But those are the rumours that we have meetings scheduled um, to speak with his representatives. 
And on the subject of centre backs, I mean, Dan Ballard, he's a, he's a young centre back that, um, you know, is in, you know, is, is an Arsenal, well, was an Arsenal player, should I say, because he is uh, now about on the verge of joining Sunderland. I reported to you, it's about a week ago that he, you know, was going up to Burnley to have a medical and um, was going to be joining Burnley, the Northern Ireland International. However, that deal fell through at the last minute and, um, you know, he was kind of left a bit in limbo. But now um, Sunderland um, are signing him. He's done a medical up there and um, will be joining them for around about £2 million. I'm not sure why the previous deal with Burnley fell down, but there were the talk that Arsenal had included a lot of um, sort of things into the contract. Like, for instance, if Burnley were to sell him, Arsenal would uh, have a first refusal on being able to buy him back. They also had a sort of sell-on clause in there where they could make some profit if he was sold on. Obviously, um, still a prospect, but a guy that they, they definitely rate or they wouldn't be inserting that. I presume that the same sort of stuff is going to be in there for the deal that they're doing with Sunderland. But he's on the verge of joining Sunderland, said to have had his medical already, and that is Dan Ballard. Now, is it time for Arsenal to go back in and get a deal done for Yuri Tielemans? Now, of course, we know already that, uh, you know, what's happened this week with Rafinha. He seemed to be the number one target. There's been a lot of fans that I've been speaking to who've been saying, you know what, Rafinha would have been a fantastic signing. We would have loved to have had him at Arsenal. But let's be real. Central midfield is more of a priority. Tielemans, get Tielemans in. That was the guy we were looking at at the start of the window. Said to be doable at around about 25 to £30 million. Pounds. Why aren't we going in to get this one sorted out? And on top of that, hearing the rumour today that's been flying around that Manchester United are very interested in Tielemans as well. Ten Hag... Um, their new manager is said to be a big fan of Tielemans and would love to bring him in at Manchester United. Why are Arsenal moving so slowly on this one? Are they going back in for Tielemans? Do they have a agreement with Tielemans, which is just like, we'll wait it out until later on in the window and then we'll come? Because to me, I don't know. <laughs> he seems like he would be a fantastic signing. He seems like uh, universally every Arsenal fan would be very happy about that signing as well. Or is it that Arsenal are not going to go in for Tielemans? It's a, it's, it's a bit of a strange one because a lot of the reports you see, it's like, well, Arsenal have still got an interest in him, but they've just called it for now. It's, it's strange. And as I said, if Manchester United are starting to get interested in this one, Arsenal better get their, a move on or they're going to end up losing Tielemans. Or as I said, Maybe they've changed their mind. We know that they bought in Fabio Vieira. Maybe they've changed their mind. Maybe they're putting it all in now on um, Thomas Partey being fit for a full season. We all know what happens when you think that because he's not been fit since he's come to Arsenal. And could we be seeing a return for Jack Wilshire? Now, um, Jack Wilshire has been reportedly um, having meetings at Arsenal where he's been talking to Arsenal about the vacant under-23 and under-18 um, coaching positions. Um, Arsenal need to fill those after the previous coaches have left. Apparently, he's been um, speaking to Perma Asaka about um, the possibility of um, maybe coming in as a coach. Um, he left the Danish side, Aris, about a, um, about a month ago. Still only 30 years old, Jack Wilshire, but... Um, it's been so sad that injuries have just blighted his career. He's just never got going because of injuries. We know the talent he is, but has just never been able to get going because of those injuries. So could he come in as a coach? He still seems like he has so much to offer. Um, and if he came in as a coach, he listen, he knows Arsenal through and through. And that might be a way for him to, you know, pathway back in at Arsenal maybe possibly going on to get back in, you know, maybe get into management and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'd love to see Jack Wilshire um, involved back in the club. And I like to see when we're bringing back in players that know the DNA of the football club. So good luck to Jack Wilshire with that. Those are the rumours for today. Thanks for watching the show. Don't forget, we'll be back with the evening show tonight. I think it's uh, 
Lee Judges is going to be up on that one live tonight, so you don't want to miss that. Um, we had a great show yesterday with Lee. Uh, he was brilliant. <laughs> Lee. Uh, so um, that was the other Lee. So make sure you check it out. That's tonight. Um, also, if you're into your tennis, get over onto DR Sports. James is currently hosting a Wimbledon tennis show every evening that's been going brilliantly so make sure you check that one out as well and subscribe over there to dr sports as well and uh, everybody over there in america don't forget um we are coming over to america um for the tour so looking forward to that we're going to be following arsenal looking forward to seeing gabriel jesus and players like that out there and also we're going to be over in germany next week over in nuremberg when arsenal are playing over there so don't miss any of that Thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow.